Starting an e-commerce website doesn't have to be expensive or complicated. In fact, you can build a fully functional e-commerce store for less than $3 a month, even if you're a complete beginner. Whether you're looking to sell handmade crafts, dropship products, or start a digital storefront for your existing business, this guide will show you everything you need to get started. From choosing the right platform to setting up your website, this step-by-step -step guide will help you launch your e-commerce business on a budget. So without further ado, let's get started. Now you're probably thinking, how on earth can I start an e-commerce store for less than $3? Well, the best way to go about doing that is by using using something called Hostinger. Hostinger offers plans for under $3 per month right now, and they have an amazing Black Friday deal that you need to take advantage of. They also have an amazing website builder inside of their software that we'll show you how to use today. If you guys wanna get started with Hostinger, make sure you use the link down in the description. Once you guys click that link, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. As you can see, they are indeed running their biggest ever Black Friday sale. You'll get up to 85% off hosting, plus access to their website builder, as well as a free domain, free website migration, and 24 seven customer support. In order to get started, we simply have to click the pink claim deal button. As you can see, we have a few different prices that we can choose from. They have a premium plan, a business plan, and the cloud startup plan. As you can see, for only $2.95, we can start our e-commerce business by going with the business plan. The reason we need to go with this plan is because they give us access to something called WooCommerce. This is the main integration that we'll have inside of Hostinger to start building our e-commerce platform. Once we've looked over the features and see what we actually get inside of this platform, we're going to go ahead and click the choose plan button. Once we click the purple choose plan button, we'll then be brought to the checkout page. As you can see here, we'll then have to pick the payment period. This is basically how often you want to pay them for. If you're planning on running the store for longer than a year, I would definitely recommend doing something like the 12 month plan or the 48 month plan. This is how you're going to save the most amount of money in this process, plus get access to even greater discounts. Also, speaking of discounts, if you want an even better one, head on over to the have a coupon code question mark and enter in the coupon code startup wise, all capitals, no spaces, and hit the apply button. Once you hit the apply button, you'll get a greater discount on an already insane discount and then you can hit the continue button. Once we're here, we'll then create a quick account and then get started. Once you guys are inside Hostinger, this is what you should see. This is their homepage and there's a few different pages that we'll have to navigate through to show you how all this works. As you can see, they have a websites tab where we can see all the different websites that we have at our disposal. They have a domains tab so we can see all the different domains that we have in our portfolio. They have an emails tab where we can do some email marketing and have a business email associated, a VPS tab, the billing tab, and then the marketplace. For the sake of this video, we're mostly gonna be sticking around on the website tab. So we'll start here. As you can see, the first thing we want to do is actually go ahead and start creating our website. You already have a hosting plan with Hostinger when you sign up, plus you're going to get a free domain. So this whole process should be super easy. The first thing we'll do is head over to this purple button and click it. Once we click that purple button, we'll then have a few options that we can choose from here. We have a WordPress website, a Hostinger website builder, or the empty PHP HTML website. We also can migrate a website if we already have an existing website on a different platform. For the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to build on Hostinger's website builder. Once we click that button, it will then take us to this page here where we're going to enter in our brand name and we're going to use AI to help create our website. Now, just keep in mind, we don't have to do this. We can actually use one of their pre-made templates by clicking this little white text down there and which should take us to this page. As you can see, they have a bunch of different templates that we can choose from for pretty much any type of store that you can think of, whether it's a fashion website, a photography website, portfolio, resume, and so many more options. Now, for the sake of this actual website, we're going to go ahead and say that we're creating some type of fashion website or an e-commerce website. Once we're on the e-commerce templates, we're going to go ahead and choose one of these e-commerce templates. They all look very good and I like most of these, but we're going to go ahead and go with this autumn template or the Shaw template. I'm going to click the select template button and then it will take me into the next page. And just like that, we are inside of Hostinger's website editor. We can now start editing our website and make it look pretty much exactly how we want it to look. We can change pretty much everything you see on this screen and it's super easy to do so. Let's start with the very top bar here. Now, just a quick note here, most of Hostinger's website builder is broken into what are called sections. As you can see here, this is the little blue button to add a new section. At the very top here, we have our header section. Now, again, we can edit most of this by simply clicking on it, and then it will take us to the actual part of the website, or we can simply click on the header itself, and then head over to the left here, and then start messing around with some of these tools here. There's also this button here where it says edit header. We'll click the edit header button, and as you can see, we have a bunch of different options that we can choose from. We can make the header sticky, we can change the element spacing, the link spacing, the top and bottom spacing, as well as a host of other features. There's also the logo itself, which we can click into and start changing to whatever we want it to be. And then of course, if we want to go up here, we can also mess around with some of the elements. We can hide the logo or show the logo. We can show social icons, show a button or any of the other features that we have on the header. There's also the shopping bag, which we can edit to make it look different if we want to make it a little bit bigger or smaller. And then there's the actual style of this header. We can make this look like just about anything, whether it's a button or just the header itself. Once we're done editing that, we can then click out of it and then start editing other sections. Let's say we wanted to add a brand new section 
section to this website. We'll go to the add section button. And then as you can see, there's a bunch of options we can choose from. They have a bunch of pre-made sections that we can choose in order to just get started really quickly. But if we want even more customization, we can click this generate section button. We then give it a short description about what type of section we want. Let's say for instance, we want a photo product gallery, and then we can hit the enter button. Oh, you do have to have 30 characters though, just as a quick disclaimer here. Once we have that typed out, we can then hit create section. It'll then design a quick layout for us. This may take a second. Their artificial intelligence is just starting to kind of get really good at doing this. So it can take some time. As you can see, this is the photo gallery that they have generated for us all with AI generated images, as well as some AI generated text and obviously the overall design of it. This is pretty cool because this can save us a ton of time in the overall design process. And we can avoid those really long lengthy design sessions that are pretty much come with every single time you have to build a website. As you can see, we can scroll down here and hit the add section button again, just to take a look and see what other kind of sections they have. Since we're running an online store, we can also go inside of here and start messing around with some of these products, which as you can see, they have a bunch of different things we can choose from. Also, one of the other things too, if you guys want to start importing products onto your store, make sure you use something like Zendrop, which we'll have linked down in the description. It's the easiest way to import products into either WooCommerce, hosting your Shopify, and any other e-commerce platform you can think of. They have a huge selection of products that you can choose from, and I personally use them whenever I'm running a dropshipping store. Once we scroll down here though, we can take a look at a few more things and see what else we can actually edit. We can add different elements to the site, like a button, text, images, or videos. There's also the actual layers tab here where we can actually change around what appears first. Then there's also the website styles where we can change the overall color that's being used and see how many times a certain color is used on the website. There's also this part where we can have the overall AI features and tool set that we can start using. They have an AI image generator, AI writer, AI page generator, AI section generator, AI blog generator, and a host of other tools. There's also the top button here where it says connect domain. This is something you're gonna wanna do before you make your website go live. As you can see, they give us a temporary domain here, but it's not really anything that people are gonna wanna click on. You wanna go ahead and click the connect domain button, which will then take you to the page where you can start adding your free domain to your website. Now, once we're happy with how everything looks, we wanna go ahead and save our progress and get started. We'll go up to the top here and click the save button. As you can see, they do have an auto save feature, which is helpful, but I always like to click the save button just in case. Once we're done with all of this though, we'll then hit the go live button and we're ready to go to start accessing our website. Once again, using Zendrop to import products onto this is easier than ever. And we now can officially start selling products on our hosting or store. If you guys have any questions about this process, make sure to comment them down below. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe so you never miss any of our future videos. And I appreciate you guys watching so much. If you guys want to get started with hosting or and get the best deal possible, make sure you use the links down in the description. They have a really great Black Friday sale going on right now that you're definitely not going to want to miss. Also, please remember that those are affiliate links and we do earn a small commission from each sign up and they go towards directly to supporting videos just like this one. So thank you in advance for supporting us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.